Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to increase the size of the VM instance. Two ways to do that. So basically one is like changing the size of the existing machines disk. And another method is to add an additional disk with some, or say, say 3 GB or 30 GB spa space, and then adding it to the VM instance so that there's a space increased. So the, the space is added extra, extra space is added. So in GCP, so let's dive in. So as always, I say in the start of my video, if you guys prefer reading, I'll just give you a link in the description. You guys can click on it and go to my GitHub and see all the stuff I've written. So now there's basically two ways to do it. So I have one instance up and running, it's two instances. So now if you go on inspecting, let's get, click, click Splunk. And then we can go here we can see a stuff saying that boot disk is 30 GB. So what the boot disk name is Splunk, the same as our instance name, if you can see. Meaning that this is created by default when you create an instance. So that there must be, there have some storage space by default. So I have given 30 when, when I create, when on creating the instance, I think a long back. So let's say we want to add additional space in the default disk that was provided by GCP. So what we can do is click on here and click more actions and edit and then we can increase this size. Let's say I want 50. I can add save. Let's click save. It's going to add another extra 2 GB. 20 GB, sorry. So this, however, let's say I have only an instance which is 10 GB and then I had 100 GB. So there's going to be a, a partition is, issues where the spaces are unlocated to which needs to be partitioned, which I will be doing another video pretty soon. So now let's say we go back. Now let's go and check our boot disk and size. 30 but let's give a refresh let's take some time or you can go to disks so okay as you guys can see it's 50 or you can go to disks so disks it's our instance that is up and running is plunk but as you guys can see why is this ticked on is that we has a green tick is that this disks are also available this is by default created by google when creating an instance so this you guys can go click here and also change it so you're clicking here and then the same stuff click edit and then going into 50 and changing it so another way to do this is let's say we'll go to instances then we're gonna go data center i think i believe this only has uh this only has i think 10 gb so now we can just add additional disks which is i think which can be done so this disks might be in default let's say you delete this instance called data center that the disk is going to be there let's say i'm going in okay so there's this additional disk add a, attach uh, add an existing disk so what I'll do is add a, add a new disk, say that disk one, uh, type, let's say here, must read and, oh, this is too much. We'll just give 100, just give 100 GB and then we'll just create it. Just done. Everything looks good. Uh, I think it looks good. And then we'll just save it. Getting data center instance. So this disk that we created is going to be located to the data center instance. So now it's going to have extra 100 GB. So this is getting saved on. Okay. The VM instance. Okay. Okay. It will take some time because 100 GB is a lot. Ugly. Okay. Wait for it to be done. Oh, it's done. It's okay. Let's go and check. 
see here, 100. So now basically it has 110 GB. So now let now just let's just go and delete this instance. Because we don't want this. Just delete it to data center instance. I think there's an option where you, where you can specify when deleting this instance, the additional disk which you have added can be deleted. So now that we are deleting this data center instance, or so now the instance is deleted, now let's go and check for the disks. So as you can see, the data center instance itself is being deleted. That I mean the default, the disk that has been given by Google while creating the instance. So now we have the additional disks. So I think this is how you increase the size of your VM instance. Thank you everyone. Catch you in another one.